Hey guys, Pedro here to do an album review. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about the brand new debut album from Northward entitled Northward out October 19th on Nuclear Blast. The record has 11 tracks and it's 49 minutes in length. Now for those of you living under a rock or perhaps unaware, this is a joint project between Flor Jensen of Nightwish and Vigo Lostaff of Pagan's Mind. This is very different from those two bands. This is very different from Nightwish. This is very different from Pagan's Mind. I would say that this is perhaps a record that spans from pop rock to rock to hard rock. You're gonna find songs on this album that really meet those three genres, that fit into those three genres absolutely perfectly. There are two key components to this record. Obviously, if this is a joint project between Flor Jensen and Vigo Lofstaff, most likely you're guessing that the two key components are the two of them, and you're correct. Vigo Lofstaff is the glue musically that keeps this album together. He really allows the songs to have a pop vibe and still be rock enough. He also allows certain songs to have a pure, pure rock and roll feel to it. And then some songs, he gives his guitar a little bit more extra bite to it, giving his songs a little bit more heaviness, making them a little bit more into a hard rock genre. So musically, he's really the key component that allows the songs to uh, move across these genres with never losing really identity. The whole album is very cohesive, and that cohesiveness really comes from the two of them, from the dynamic that the two give to the record him musically and her vocally. Her, that takes me to this, the second key element of this record, which is Flor Jensen's vocals. Her vocals are incredible on this record. She really showcases how talented she is, how good she is, and how versatile she is. This is very different from Nightwish, and she still is able to pull off the songs and give the, the exact nuances to the song that the song requires in order to really breed its own life. The album is very different from song to song. There are not there are not many songs that sound alike. I don't think there's almost any song that really has the same style to it. They're all very diverse. They're all very different. Like I said, they all um, spend those three genres. And while Vico on the musical side is able to keep them all feeling very rock, on her side, she's able to give the song the difference that each song needs in order for the listener to have a very entertaining and fluid experiencing experience listening to the record from song 1 to song 11. She really brings life to the song. She really allows her voice to give each song its own DNA, its own creativity, its own life. And that is the second element that really brings this whole record together. Uh, I will say one more thing. I really enjoy the fact that they started the album with the first two singles that came out. The first song is Wild Love Died. That, that to me is key. Anytime a band is releasing a record and you can put the first couple of songs uh, on the record, the first singles, to me that's a winning strategy. It allows the listener to have this, this uh, sense of comfort going into the record because the moment you start playing the album, the first couple of songs you're listening to are the singles, songs that you're familiar with that really allows the listener to have an easy path to the rest of the album. It's an easy listening experience. I really like that. I wish more bands did, did that because I really feel from a listening perspective, it just eases me in. It gives me this sense of comfort, it tucks me in, and then it allows me to enjoy the rest of the album without being on edge, kind of waiting, oh, when is that single coming? When is that single coming? So I really like the fact that the first two songs of the record is the first and second single that they've released. Also, one more note before I talk about my favorite songs, Flor Jensen's sister, Irene Jensen, sings in a duet with, with her sister on this record. And that is one of my favorite songs on the record. Maybe I'll start with that one, how's that? Drifting Islands is a duet between Flor and her sister, Irene. The difference in the vocal tone between the two of them really adds a cool balance to the song. It really adds for that duet to go the extra mile. Because the two of them have absolutely incredible and beautiful voices, but the, the tone of their voices is different. And that makes the duet that much better. Once again, Vigo is the glue that keeps this whole song together with incredible guitar riffs and an incredible solo. This album is full of amazing guitar solos. If you're a fan of great guitar playing and really incredible solos, alone this record is for you because Vigo really does an amazing job 
with his guitar on this record and this song is no different. Heavy riff in the chorus really adds a feel of old school rock and roll to, to an incredible duet. Uh, this song is really well constructed, it really plays well off of both singers and it's one of my favorite songs of the album. Another one of my favorite songs of the album is the first single of the album, While Love Died. I really feel like this song has a little bit of that pop vibe to it, it's a, has a little bit of that pop rock vibe to it, and specifically in the chorus, because it's a very catchy chorus, it's very easy to the, to, to the ears, it, it gets stuck in your mind, you start singing along, and it has all the components that a really good pop song has. So to me, this is more of a pop rock song, but one that's super enjoyable, that I really enjoyed, that's really good, and it's impossible for you not to bob your head once that chorus hits. It's so contagious, the vocals are so good, and once again, the underlying guitar playing on this song to me is pure rock and roll. That is what makes this go from a pop song to a pop rock song, or perhaps even a rock song if you will. I really enjoy this song, and it's always been one of my favorite songs of the album since I heard the album. It was immediately one of my, I loved the single when it came out, but the moment I heard the whole album, I, I still uh, stayed with this song as one of my favorites, one of my top threes uh, on the record. Last but not least, Paragon. I absolutely love this song. Uh, this song has a very unique texture to it, a very unique construction to it. I really like the acoustic guitar that they used in this song. It really creates a stripped down effect to the song. It really strips it down. It really makes the song raw, which really fits well with the lyrics and the structure of the rest of the song. To me, this song really feels um, almost like an inner struggle. During the verses, you have uh, more of a self-doubt and, and, and uh, uh, almost a, an introspect look uh, from, from the singer's perspective, if you will. And then when it gets to the chorus, it's almost a enough is enough, I had enough of this, I can control my own destiny, I can make things change, almost um, a war cry if you will. So the song is a lot more mellowed and subdued throughout the verses and it becomes a lot heavier in the chorus. This gives the song an incredible dynamic. It really gives the song a feel of inner struggle to finally come to grips with it and say enough is enough and you, you know, punch the table and you say I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to overcome this. I have the tools to overcome this. So the whole song it feels this way. It's built this way. The the acoustic guitar helps to that inner struggle. It really plays well to those uh, thoughts of of perhaps being hopeless and not being able to help yourself and then the heaviness that comes with the chorus. It it really represents the cry, the, the outcry, the, the rebellious outcry. So the combination of Floor's voice also changes. As the song, uh, the part of the song, the verses where it's more mellow, her voice is a lot more melodic, a lot more subdued. When it comes to the chorus, when the song gets heavier, when Vigo brings in that extra bite to his guitar, she also brings that extra bite to her voice and her voice reaches a different octane. I really like this song, I really like that dynamic. To me, the dynamic of the song is what makes this song work. Incredible job from these two guys on this record, an amazing album, I really enjoyed it. Not the heaviest album you will hear this year by far, but a very well put together record with a lot of cool dynamics like the song Paragon, a lot of those cool dynamics. Also, Flor Jensen's duet to me is incredible. I really hope they release it uh, as a video because it, it's, it's a really powerful, powerful song with two incredible singers. Anyways, this is enough for me. I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on the band Northward? What are your thoughts on Flor Jensen and Vigo Lofstaff? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you guys. Take care.